What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at how to clean up your Galaxy S6. Now, before I start this video, I just want to give a little disclaimer. You don't have to do every single step that I do. This is entirely up to you. It is subjective. Um, I'm going to be removing apps, or rather uninstalling or disabling them. Some of these may be apps you use, so you don't have to keep them. Personally, these are all the ones that I usually disable or uninstall from my phone when it's a carrier branded phone. So in this case I have a AT&T branded Galaxy S6 and while it is chock full of bloatware at least they're kind of uh, nice enough about it to group for the most part all of it into AT&T, Microsoft, and Samsung folders. Now not everything is in those folders that you'll need to disable if you choose to but most of it is so let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and open up the AT&T folder. To disable these, you long press on them and then you simply go to disable. Yeah, I want to disable it. So now what this will do is it'll free up some memory, not all of it that's taken up by the app, and it'll keep the app from running in the background. So frees up resources because some of these do run in the background even if you don't use them, which is really annoying. So go ahead and disable all these and I'll speed this part of the video up. Okay, so here's an example of an app that just simply cannot be disabled. So all you can do is hit cancel, and unfortunately, that's going to kind of just live on your phone. There is a way to hide it. Uh, that can be done with a custom launcher. I won't get into that in this video, but I will do a separate video where I, where I install a custom launcher to hide apps as well as get rid of the initial appearance of TouchWiz, which is Samsung's skin on top of Android. So some of the apps on the Galaxy S6 are not put into folders for you, like AT&T Family Map, Color ID. One of the ones that I think is kind of weird is the Amazon app. This is not the same as the app that's in the Play Store. If you were to download Amazon, I don't know why they have their own version. But if you go into the Play Store and download Amazon, it puts another version of it on here, which is kind of stupid, so go ahead and disable that. So now I'm going to start disabling just third-party apps in general. Uh, Lookout, again, up to you if you use it. I never use it, so I'm going to disable it. Galaxy Apps is one of the apps you can't disable, and that's because it uses it's the app that you need to run themes. And that's pretty tightly integrated into this custom version of Android that Samsung is running. So unfortunately, this is one you can't disable. See, it just has you cancel it out. So that's another one. If you don't want to use it, you'll have to hide it with a third-party launcher. And that's pretty much all I want to disable on here that's visible. And then these are apps that I have installed myself. So one of the apps that I would recommend disabling if you find it annoying is the weather app. Google Now, which is on the device as well, already gives you weather, so having another weather app is really annoying. So to, to disable that, and let me just go here, it doesn't show up in your drawer at all. It's kind of a slightly hidden app, so to disable that one, we have to go into our settings. So under device, applications, and then you go to application manager and then you go over to all so from here you pretty much have to just scroll through and there's a few that are hidden in here that don't show up in your uh, drawer for example gear VR haven't really messed with that but there's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't show up in your drawer and so these are apps that kind of they can run in the background. Um, if you're not sure if they're running, you can go to running and then go through this with TV. I don't know what that is, but obviously it's been running like crazy. So you can get rid of that if you want. So anyways, I'll go over. And again, like I said, some apps you just simply can't disable because they're too tightly integrated into the OS. So here we have weather. So you'll want to disable these two to get rid of the weather from giving notifications or showing up in Google Now. 
and just using the stock Google Map Weather. So I'll go ahead and, oh, it's not this one, sorry. Again, this one can't be disabled, but this weather daemon can, can, so disable that. Hit OK. And there we go. And, uh, yeah, it's fine. So now you'll just have Google now giving you weather alerts. And when you go into Google, it'll just show you the Google weather and not this Samsung weather. Go ahead and go back home. And that's pretty much it as far as disabling apps. As I said, I'll do another video putting a custom skin on this guy. And you can see how that can assist you in further cleaning up your device. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Google+, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or you can just leave a comment in the comment section down below. Until next time, good luck cleaning up your Samsung Galaxy S6. Take care.